Greetings, respected viewers. Thank you for joining us on Our Noble Lineage. Today, we are continuing our program on the modern-day Essenes with our visit to the Essene Church of Christ in Eugene, Oregon, USA. We believe that Jesus was an Essene Nazarene from Mount Carmel and that he taught vegetarianism, reincarnation, God as both father and mother, and an holistic spiritual practice called the Essene Way. We believe that the Essene Way is the most comprehensive, holistic yoga system ever taught on this planet. We believe that the first Christians were Essene Nazarenes who accepted Jesus as the Messiah. They were entirely vegetarian and practiced the Essene Way. In part one last week, we learned the divinely fated coincidence that led Reverend Brother Day, Nazariah, to meet Essene Master Malachi as a teenager and become his student, and how Brother Day was tasked with founding the Essene Church of Christ in the United States after Master Malachi passed on. The ancient Essene scriptures, believed to be the unadulterated version of the Hebrew Bible, spoke of strict adherence to vegetarianism. And as we heard last week, vegetarianism was the first lesson that high priest and initiating guru Brother Day learned from his teacher. That very first day, when he described a hamburger as a dead cow sandwich, I thought, you know, do I really want to eat the body of an animal and the more I thought about it as he taught me the most important reason for being vegetarian we, we, we say health is very important environment is very important but the most important reason for being vegetarian is compassion it's love. To become an initiated, baptized Essene, one must make the pledge of vegetarianism. Now, once one is a vegetarian, many vegetarians will go on to become vegans. And in the Essene tradition, some will even go on to become fruitarians and eat only the parts of the plant that you can eat without killing the plant. The fact that the ancient Essenes and the early Christians were vegetarians has also been documented by eminent church fathers such as Epiphanius of Salamis and Saint Clement of Alexandria. There was a text by Epiphanius from the second century in which he described not just Jesus and Mary Magdalene but of all the first Christians were vegetarian and that it was a requirement for the Essenes to be initiated, you had to be a vegetarian. We then have uh, Clement of Alexandria, another ancient writer, who also described the first Christians, all of the apostles and Jesus, as being vegetarian. And why was the animal-free diet prescribed in ancient times, as it is now, as being so vital in the spiritual pursuit? Look at modern times. Mahatma Gandhi was shot to death. Martin Luther King was shot to death. This is simply because the beings at the lower levels of consciousness don't understand the high-level teachings and that brings us back to why the great masters do require vegetarianism for initiation. It's because if you can at least get these human beings on this planet to quit eating the flesh of fellow beings, there will be a natural brightening of consciousness that will occur just from that one act of becoming vegetarian and that little bit of extra insight mm -hmm. 
will allow them to go, aha, uh -huh, when they hear a wise spiritual saying. They will have the insight that, that's true. I, I see how that's true in my own life. And they will embrace it and they will follow it. During the October 2008 video conference for the premiere of her number one international best-selling books, The Noble Wilds and The Dogs in My Life in Frankfurt, Germany, Supreme Master Ching Hai spoke about the change in consciousness that will arise simply by changing our diet. Because in a vegan world, we think differently, we act differently, we live differently, we treat each other differently, our mind functions differently, our heart feels differently, our intelligence activated differently. There's no more reason that we can see for animals to fear humans. There's no more reason to make anyone suffer. For animals and humans alike, yeah? we will see no reason. We will see only reason to love, to protect and help each other. And no more grounds for humans to fear one another because everyone will honor life and protects both theirs and others' life simply by being vegan. Your life will change. Your thinking will change. The whole being will change. Believe me, I know it because I've done it. You will change completely. You will love yourself more. You will have more self-respect and you'll be glad that you walk the noble way of compassionate vegan diet. Without this deep-seated fear for one another or from the animal, there will be only love, peace, both with animals and humans. As it turns out, the higher we rise, the higher we ascend in spiritual consciousness, the more refined our diet becomes. Because the more conscious we become, the less willing we are to rip off the body of another life form to sustain our own life form because that's very egotistical. It's egotistical for me to think that my body is so important that I can kill other creatures and take their body and consume it. We believe that the entire universe is a cosmic school system for the education of souls. Like all school systems, there are various levels. When we learn the lessons of one level, we graduate to the next. We believe that there are countless heavenly realms and countless hellish realms. If we create a heavenly consciousness within, we will later experience a heavenly outer realm as well. Every being in the universe, human, non-human, every being is exactly where we should be in terms of our spiritual consciousness, our, our level of spiritual evolution mm -hmm. and if you are at the level where you kill and you murder you will be where that happens mm -hmm. and that we would call a hell realm mm -hmm. now planet earth we have robbery mm -hmm. we have warfare between the nations mm -hmm. so for that reason we would not consider planet earth to be a group consciousness heaven mm -hmm. The planet Earth is an intermediate world which can go either way. Mm -hmm. And because it can be pushed up to ascend or it can be pushed down to fall and spiral and become a horrible hell realm, mm -hmm. or it can you know, evolve into a beautiful heavenly group consciousness, mm -hmm. that is why great beings like your master, great beings like... Buddha, Krishna, mm -hmm. Yeshua, mm -hmm. Mary Magdalene, great beings come to this realm because out of love and compassion they want to help this realm where there's so much pain of war and murder and yet so much potential for goodness. 
They want to help us rise. They want to give us a hand and, and, and pull us up. Reverend Day conveys a hopeful viewpoint in the current state of our planet and the valuable role of veganism and constructive media. The world really is at the stage of catastrophe. I prefer the word crisis. I understand that the Chinese symbol, mm -hmm. word picture for crisis, includes two images. Mm -hmm. A pictograph of imminent peril mm -hmm. linked with another for opportunity. Yes. Yes. Even if I am in inner peace and joy, mm -hmm. if I see pain happening in the group consciousness, on a planetary scale, mm -hmm. and I would want to intervene, well, uh, Master uh, Ching Hai, mm -hmm. she certainly has promoted vegetarianism mm -hmm. and veganism mm -hmm. as one very important step that anybody can take to help save our planet. When one studies the reasons Mm -hmm. uh, that she has published. Mm -hmm. When one understands the reasons mm -hmm. that vegetarianism and veganism mm -hmm. save trees, mm -hmm. fight air pollution, right. create health in the body, mm -hmm. and pure waters out. In world crisis, I advise this. Mm -hmm. Any planet that I happen to be on at the time, mm -hmm. I will try and save those who are in sufferings and pains and will try to prevent world catastrophe. Sometimes we intervene and are successful mm -hmm. and that planet reverses its spin and spirals upward into the heavenly consciousness. Our planet right now, like that Chinese symbol for the word crisis, mm -hmm. we are at the point where there is opportunity mm -hmm. if we will seize the moment. Mm -hmm. So planet Earth is suffering mm -hmm. because they have fallen out of union with the ultimate and they need reunion. Mm -hmm. And so beings of goodwill, whatever we call ourselves, Buddhist, Hindu, Essene, whatever, mm -hmm. if we love life, and we love God, God is, if we love Mother Nature, mm -hmm. right now on planet Earth, we will teach vegetarianism and mm -hmm. we will work to uplift and make this crisis actually a beautiful open door to a, a beautiful world that we can create together. We can create a garden planet. We can do so many good things. And I was invited to be uh, interviewed by your station, mm -hmm. Supreme Master Television Station. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What I really was pleased to see mm -hmm. and really appreciated mm -hmm. was the intentional presenting of positivity. Right. Positive people mm -hmm. doing positive things. Right. Because Right now, that's what the world needs. You have to uplift the spirit and motivate people to change their ways for good. Right. And one of the ways that you do that is by holding up positive examples mm -hmm. of people doing good projects. And that excites the viewer. Mm -hmm. That excites people to want to go right. and do good. The modern day Essenes are actively working to bring more light to our planet. At the church's mass celebration, priestess Maya Gee expresses how we can transform the darkness in the world. As we know that our world is right now going through a lot of turbulence, as we may call it, mm -hmm. and that there has been an earthquake in Japan that has caused a lot of suffering to our brothers and sisters. And that there has been so many wars and so many different dark expressions that has brought sorrow and pain throughout the world and suffering. 
Let us understand that it is our human collective consciousness that acts in a positive or a negative way towards us all. To free our brothers and sisters' light is our duty, it is our dharma. And it is that that we are supposed to focus on when there is so much turbulence, when there is so much darkness, and when the karma, which is reaping of all of our choices and thoughts, words, deeds, feelings, if that karma comes back upon and it's negative, to have compassion and to focus on, on the light within our brothers and sisters. To have compassion for people that maybe choose to eat even animals, even though we know that eating our younger brothers and sisters are their evolving animals is really not of the light. But to have compassion and to talk to their great presence and to ask to be freed up, to let them know that to shine through and to express its perfection is our duty. And whenever we go around and about and we see something of a discord, it is not for us to judge. It is not of us for us to complain. It is not for us to, to have anything of a feeling that is not of the light and to focus on the feeling of forgiveness, of compassion, and to call that light to come forth. That's why I created the song, My feelings are always of the light. My feelings are always of divine. My feelings are only of the light. My feelings are loving, no matter situation, no matter conditions, I am the law of life. My feelings are always of divine. My feelings are always of the light. My feelings are loving, no matter situation, no matter conditions. I am the law. the Essene Church of Christ and the Order of the Blue Rose, please visit www.essene.org. Reverend Brother Day can be contacted at essenenfo at aol.com. Please join us next Sunday, June 19, for the finale of our program on the Modern Day Essenes and the Essene Church of Christ in Oregon, USA. We will gain fascinating insights into the ancient Essene history and teachings. Where we get scriptural support for vegetarianism, you do then have to go to the, the ancient manuscripts because what I'm going to share with you, I will admit, is controversial, but it is this. Elevated viewers, it was a pleasure having you with us today on Our Noble Lineage. Now, please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for Between Master and Disciples. May the love in your heart illuminate your path to our eternal home. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash NL.